back. New set. I'm gonna put some. I put like so. I got a wooden calendar. I got the other day when I went thrift store shopping. Also, this shirt new. Well, new to me. Another bounty from the thrift store shopping I did the other day. Uh, but I'm gonna put the wooden calendar over here, and then what I'm gonna do occasionally is take these two. There's gonna be two hooks here. I'm gonna take down and put uh, other pictures in smaller frames that will fill in this hook, and it'll rotate so you can see like different things on the wall. That was the whole, the whole idea was to create a background for myself that uh, would work. So, this video is a, uh, a response, I guess, uh, to an earlier video I done where I talked about like I was gonna, what advice I would give. And I stumbled for a while, like trying to figure out what I was gonna talk about. And the, originally I was like, well, I'll do what I would tell like 15 to 25 year old me. And I was like, that's not gonna quite, that's not gonna reach as many people, it's not gonna, it's not really what you wanna talk about. Well, not initially. But so, uh, but I wanted to do where I could probably make it make sense for a majority of people. So there's gonna be three or four of these, but the first thing I wanna talk about, if you're, a younger person and you're interested in uh, being a little more well well rounded um, a piece of advice I would give is for you to read the classics and I'm specifically if you can find them because they're just about everything's on the internet now uh, read the AP or the honors English classes uh, the reading lists from like 80 to 2000. What you'll see over time is like uh, what each era thought were the dangerous books and those are always good to read. Um, but what you also notice in that, in that large era is a subtle push and pull politically about what's dangerous to read or what people, you know, what, what might, uh, what each era thought was the big bad. One of the books I'm thinking about specifically, which I think everybody should read anyway, uh, is Catcher in the Rye. If I'm not mistaken, that book ends up in a lot of uh, awkward situations. I know it was a book that, short story, John Hinckley uh, decided to attempt to assassinate President Reagan, that's how old I am, uh, because he wanted to impress Jody Foster. Uh, we would all find out later that was kind of a fool's errand, but that's another story. But one of the books I think that he was noted for carrying around was Catcher in the Rye, which is this uh, tale of a kind of a ne'er-do-well, underachieving, uh, in some ways budding con band. It's a super interesting book. Uh, I found myself reading it at the same time I was reading The Chocolate War, uh, which is, uh, Chocolate War is actually one of my favorite books, and the movie's okay, uh, but Chocolate War is one of my favorite books. Um, but like read Plato read Huck, read an unredacted version of Huck Finn um, there's a lot of Judy Bloom I would read uh, I'm also a big fan of, of the pistachio prescription he's a little like some books I like but like read 1984 read Animal Farm like read all these read uh, Plato or Marcus Aurelius or uh, read Malcolm Gladwell read Stephen King uh the interesting thing about Stephen King to me is that he his view of dystopia there's a there's a, there's a whole ton of, of back and forth about uh, that Stephen King borrowed certain things from other authors but I think the stand as a as a civil the stand's great uh and once you realize that the stand is a side story to his larger work, uh, dealing with surrounding Roland Deschain, uh, I'm a huge fan of that series, and I hate that the movie they tried to do uh, of that series did not work. And I think Egypt Elbert as Roland was actually kind of an it was an inspired choice. He's the best actor, but not what you should have done for the story 
Um, but the reason I suggest people read uh, classical works of literature, whether it's Shakespeare or Chaucer or, or uh, like, and just read stuff from all kinds of genres. Read Adam Smith or read Wealth of Nations just to read it. Um, read books that, that, that are classic books that people don't agree with. Try to read as many books as you can because what happens is, is you're, you'll find yourself in a situation where you end up with a quote. Like you end up uh, in a bunch of situations where what you have found is that a lot of the art you've consumed, or a lot of the stuff you've read, ends up showing up in the in your in your life at some point, and you you end up with a quote that you that you end up hanging on to, and or as a, as almost a trope in some shows, uh, you end up having that pithy quote for the sad situation. Uh, and just shows people that you're well read and, and that kind of stuff and that's that's always uh, what I found is and I, I guess it's more the way those moments have been written is that uh, when two people discover that they're that they're both well read or they both read the same books it kind of brings them together and that's always cool uh, and it always means you have you'll never go somewhere where you wouldn't have something to talk about you know where you, where you always get and you meet new people like oh have you read this and they're like no you get to talk to them about the book, and it won't be as uh, you won't be as nervous because you have something for you to talk about instead of talking about yourself. That's probably my first advice I would give people: just find AP reading lists from back in the day and read them, and then just read as many books as you can from as many different perspectives as you can, just to 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 give yourself a full a fuller scope of what the world looks like. That's that that's. That's my advice. That's this episode of my video vlog for my advice. There'll be other episodes and more. Just come along.